union's ability to bargain collectively because they're not just bargaining for themselves, they're bargaining for the entire economy. Uh, the struggles that Marx suggested are, are, are activities, these are activities that can be catalytic in terms of just getting people into action. Uh, I think, and, and, and certainly most unions think, given an opportunity to fight back on their issues, they will participate in that struggle. Uh, hats off to the Urban League, to NAACP, for recognizing that their interest is caught up in these issues themselves. Uh, we have traditionally shied away from organized labor, so that's not for us. Well, Dr. King said it best, that most and the majority of African Americans are working people. And if you think your wages and your benefits got where they are out of the kindness of the employer, uh, you are sadly mistaken. Uh, absent trade unions, uh, the minimum wage may well become the maximum wage. And there's a real need to make that identification to coalesce with not just black labor, but all of labor, because that's where it lies. That, the, the struggle and fight back is going to take place among the masses of people.